Wisdom and long suffering on today's Motivation Monday. I hope that your Monday is off to a great start. I believe that we're back at full speed again after Thanksgiving. I've got a full schedule of work and meetings today. The kids are back at school. My wife got called into the hospital. So here we go. I know you're busy too. And so what we're going to do with this Motivation Monday is we're going to give you three tools that you can use today or sometime this week to continue growing in your relationship with the Lord. I want you to know that yesterday it was a great blessing to be able to prepare a Bible class and a sermon about our Together We Grow topic of long suffering and patience. For me, it was a great blessing. I hope it was for you too. I enjoyed hearing all the comments and, and other thoughts that you shared after Bible class, after the lessons, whether it was in conversations that we had or an email or a text or a phone call. It was great. It was a blessing to me and it was great to have that back and forth conversation, learning from each other, encouraging one another. If you missed the lessons yesterday, I'm going to link them below. That's tool number one, Bible class and our, our sermon on long suffering and patience. I believe that it will be a blessing to you. Another thing that a lot of folks commented about yesterday was the tool that was on the back of our Sunday handout. It's also going to be linked down below. It's going to be our second tool for this Motivation Monday. Just a simple grid that as we read through Scripture, especially familiar Scriptures, a tool that we can use to write down or jot down the fruit of the Spirit as we see them in our text or to help us focus on, just like we did yesterday in the life story of Joseph, to focus on one particular thing, like long-suffering. I believe it's a rich study. It's a great way to, to add an extra layer of knowledge and depth to our understanding of the Bible. So that's tool two that's down below. Finally, our third tool it was one of the comments that I had, a text conversation that I had with a friend. He was thanking me for the lesson and was telling me that at 9 a.m. they had visited online with the Louisville Church of Christ and they had heard a lesson by Brother Jeff Jenkins on wisdom. And then at 10 a.m. they came and visited online with us at the Bridgewood Church of Christ and heard a lesson about long-suffering and how well those two lessons went together. Jeff, of course, an amazing preacher who just jam-packs his lessons with so many things that we can gain and understand from. This morning I went and watched Jeff's lesson uh, about wisdom, and it is a blessing. And so it's going to be tool number three for you to use this week. Again, link down below. And I really think you're going to be blessed and benefited, especially as we consider long-suffering, to look at Jeff's lesson on wisdom. Let me give you just a little, little, little taste of what you're going to get. But his definition of, of godly wisdom that he used in his lesson just really helped me as I think about godly wisdom. Godly wisdom is the ability to get things from where they are to where they should be. Wow, what an amazing thought. And his text was from James 3. And so I want to read for you James 3, verse 13, the front section of, of the passage that he really focused on in his lesson, just so you kind of get this in your mind so that you'll go, you'll click that link, and you'll be blessed by joining in on this study of God's Word. But James 3, verse 13 who is wise and understanding among you? By his good conduct, let him show his works in the meekness of wisdom. To hear Jeff unpack this scripture, this section of scripture, and of course look at other passages in the Bible, will be a blessing to you. We can constantly be encouraging. We can be having conversations among ourselves about the things that we're learning. And of course, we want to have conversations with those who are friends, our neighbors, our co-workers about the things that we've gained from God's Word, the perspective, the wisdom that we gain as we look towards growing constantly. God bless you. I hope you have a great week and I hope that you continue growing in His love, grace, long-suffering, wisdom, and mercy.